first, we're off to the west of England to look at why birds are responsible for that other weekend task, cleaning the car. It's happened to us all. You spent all Sunday afternoon cleaning your pride and joy when from out of the blue... <laughs> yes, quite. Or avian excreta, as it's more formally known. At first, you're convinced that the bird must have deliberately targeted your car. But they're only stupid birds. They couldn't really do that, could they? Well, Charles West and Liam Chowdhury from the University of Bristol believe that birds may indeed single out particular cars for special attention. It's a radical idea, and like many great theories, it was conceived in a pub. We were just a, a few of the mates, you know, having a little discussion, and one of them said, oh, yeah, yeah I think that uh, the birds, they poo on dark cars, or car, you know, because they're similar colour to the sea, so dark blue or blue cars. So immediately the debate started and uh, we thought if we get enough information we'd be able to disprove the, this, this idea. Buoyed by this desire, they enlisted 40 university colleagues and in just one day surveyed over 1,700 cars for bird poo. They created a simple table and filled in the number of poos next to the colour of each car. The final result was as surprising as it was conclusive. We put all the information in uh, and out came the results. Yeah, it was worthwhile us doing that because it wasn't blue cars in the end. It turns out that white cars are the most popular ones. Astonishingly, the birds in Bristol appeared to have an overwhelming preference for white cars, way and above all the other colours. So had they stumbled across something significant or were their results a load of... <laughs> to find out for sure, we need to know if little beady eyes can distinguish a car's colour as well as we can. Here's avian behaviour expert Professor Innes Cuthill from the University of Bristol. Well, we're certainly proud of our own colour vision and we can see much better than most other mammals. Um, however, I think a bird would think of us as having pretty poor colour vision. Birds can see hues and wavelengths of light to which we're completely blind. Human eyes are limited compared to birds because they're only sensitive to three colours of light. Red, green and blue. On the back wall of the eye, tiny cells called cones fire off electrical signals when they're hit by the colour of light that they're sensitive to. In combination, these three cell types enable us to see a whole range of colours. Birds' eyes are sensitive to a fourth colour, ultraviolet. This means that their visible range is wider and they're able to see colours that are impossible for us to even imagine. So birds have fantastic colour vision, but that doesn't really explain why they choose to poo on white cars. Professor Cuthill, for one, thinks that there must be an alternative explanation. I guess my hunch was that rather than birds being selective as to which coloured cars they pooed on, it was something to do with where people with different coloured cars parked. So if they were more likely to park under a tree where starlings were roosting or near buildings where seagulls were living. To see if Professor Cuthill's parking theory holds water, Experimental set up an experiment. We swapped the motors for dustbins, one white and one black, and left them in an aviary full of seabirds from around the world. The question was which bin would prove more attractive to their bottoms. One week later, and the results were in. Would our experiment support the Bristol study, or would the doubting professor be proved correct? The black bin has three poos, whilst the white bin has seven. I'm frankly quite stunned. Uh, so that does suggest there might be something in this. So assuming birds really do target white cars, the question remains, why? 
Experimental believes that the seagulls see the white cars as giant rivals who need to be dumped on. Some birds certainly do use faeces as a defensive weapon. Uh, again, mainly seabirds, uh, in conjunction often with vomit, uh, they'll use their faeces ballistically. So while it does seem that, statistically speaking, white cars get a bum deal, the reason is something that science still needs to get to the bottom of. I think, uh, yeah, I think we have stumbled on something here, haven't mm. we? People want to know. People want to know if their cars are being targeted, don't they? Mm. Everyone feels a victim of a uh, bird poo. Mm. I think it's something they want answered. Yeah, I think Bristol University needs two professors of pooology now. <laughs> <laughs>